What's up ladies, Tamara here and it's time for our amazing arms and abs workout. Session 1 of week 7. We're gonna strengthen and shape our biceps, triceps and shoulders and also our front and side abdominal muscles. You might ask yourself when the tones on your arms and abs is gonna be seen and my answer is very simple. If you are persistent in working out and also you are sticking to a new me nutrition plan, results are guaranteed in 8 weeks. That's why I want you that you take picture of yourself, of your whole body and compare before and after picture that you see your amazing transformation. Results are guaranteed. For this session, we're gonna need a mat, dumbbells and a chair. Are you ready to create a new you today? Ladies, are you ready for a 5 minute warm up which consists of 10 exercises and we're gonna bring your heart rate up and prepare your body for a great training at Fox. Let's go! We're gonna start with a step touch. You step to the side and touch with your other leg. We're gonna start high and slowly we're gonna go low. So basically you go in your knees down, your glutes go back and you warm up your legs and your glutes also your arms are working also with your glutes. So basically they're going in front of you and to the side of your body. You can prepare for a great strength training with follows. And from here we go double. Right? Same, just double step and touch. Go. Great. Let's go a little lower. Put your glutes back. Yes. Can we do a little more? Yeah, sure we can. That's our beginning, right? Hop. And we do a step curl on the spot. You go step and curl. Basically, you push your heel towards your glutes to show you from the side, you're here. Push your heel to the glutes, basically you keep yourself on your ass. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go lower. You should be already feeling your legs and your butt work. There is more. From here, we have a step back. Step back. Our legs are wider. Step to the side. Yes. And of course, don't, don't forget, let's go lower. Push your glutes like back, sitting back into the chair. Yes. You're doing great, a little bit more. Up, up. From this position, we're gonna add a little bit shoulder to also warm up our shoulders. You do a whole circle. Yes. Great job. Let's do a little bit more. And in front. Super. Let's go. Up, up. Can you feel your legs and your glutes already warming up? They should burn a little bit already, right? Okay, from this position, let's go into the jog. We're jogging on the spot. This is our, I would say, basic low jog. What we can do, you can add butt kick. You push your heel towards your glutes. Yes. Our, our quads are working. Yes, there you go. A bit more. Okay. From this position, you go three steps up and knee lift. Three steps forward and knee lift. Yeah? Your knee, 90 degrees, no lower than that. Up. Our option, of course, is here. Because I know you have some injuries in your knees and or other joints, so please use the options that are coming also in our strength training. Okay? Look. Inside. Great. And what's next? It's our jumping jack. Jumping jack, it's very important that you put your knees out and in line with your toes. You go down, push your butt back, the glutes go back, back in, back into the chair. 
And what's our, our option? Do the B step. Yeah? Let's go. This is our option. Let's go lower. If you don't want to jump. And from jumping jack, we're gonna add some arms. We're gonna add it to upgrade our warm up and finish like winners. We're going to, towards the sky. Because the sky is our limit, right? Let's do a little bit more. Oh. This step, option. Yes. Let's go. A little bit more. Go, 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 go. You're doing a great job. That's all, that's the ninth exercise and the tenth that is going to follow, you won't believe it, we have knees up, let's go, it's our high skipping, we're doing high skipping, go, 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 this is our finish girls, let's go, Woo. option, we are here, yes, great, a little more, Great job! Ooh. And we we'll warm up. Let's work. Next exercise is so-called wood chop. So this is a great exercise for activating our side abdominal muscles, our obliques. We're gonna take a dumbbell of three kilos and so hold it in your arms with both both hands. So uh, put your feet in width of your hips or a little bit wider, and then also your knees a little bit flexed. From this position, you bring your both hands diagonally above your head. So this is our starting position and also you see my one leg is a little bit turned. So it's not on the floor but your heel is up and also your hip is a little bit turned. From this position, you also see you already prepared your obliques, your side down muscles to work. So from this position, you go up and go diagonally down into the other side. We're gonna do 15 repetitions on each side. So you go above your head diagonally and twist to down diagonally. So up, down, up. You see that also my other leg is a little bit twisted because at that point you can rotate your trunk completely. Nine. Your obliques are working. Ten. Let's do five more. Up. And four. And three. And two. Last one. Good job. Prepare for the other side. Let's go. Up. And like you would chop wood, right? That's why also. The exercise called a wood jump. Let's go. Whoa. Twist. Rotate those obliques. Six. And seven. And eight. Let's go. Nine. And last five. Go, go, go. And four. Three. Last two. And one, rest. Great job. Next exercise is a combination of bicep curls together with skipping or happy feet as I call them. So we're gonna do four bicep curls. So put your feet in width of your hips uh, or a little bit wider. Put your hands, uh, basically your upper arms are fixed to your body. And by flexion, you activate your biceps to do four bicep curls. And on the spelt, 10 skips or happy feet. And we do four combinations. So let's go. And for first combination of four bicep curls and skipping on the spot. And second, let's go. Watch out, squeeze those abdominal muscles, your spine is in neutral position and your neck is in line with your spine. And ten, eight, six, four, two, one. Okay, repeat. And activate those biceps for those nicely shaped arms. And 
seven, eight, six, four. Four legs a bit higher, right? And the left. Four bicep curls. Let's go. Pump it up. And ten, eight, six, four. Great job. We're upgrading exercises for our abs. So the next exercise is a plank with a change of weight from elbows to your head. So we bring basically uh, our body to the position of plank. So your weight is up on your forearms. You extend the body, you extend the legs, you squeeze those abdominal muscles. And from this position, basically you go from your weight on your forearms to bring in the weight on your hands. So we're gonna do this exercise in, I would say, let's try to do it in 30 seconds. So let's start. You go on your elbows and on your hands. Squeeze those abdominal muscles and bring your, your booty a little bit lower. Don't have it slip here, this is not okay. Bring the, uh, the booty a little bit lower and basically your whole body is extended. Watch that your spine is of course in line, in neutral position. That is not like this. So watch that and try to do at least 30 seconds. Great job. Next exercise are tricep dips on the chair with knees on a 120 degrees angle. So we're gonna put our back facing our chair Put your hands, palms facing down and your palms are quite together and also your wrists are flexed. Your spine is in neutral position and also your neck is in line with the spine and put your legs up front so your knees are on a 120 degrees angle. From this position you only flex in your elbows and elbows go directly back, not to the side but back and also activating the tricep, you extend the elbows and here is the activating phase of your triceps. So, go down, inhale, and up, exhale. We do 18 repetitions. So, let's go. Down, directly, and extend. Watch out that your elbows go directly back. Let's go. 15, 14, finding the neutral position. Well, 11, go, go, activate those triceps, and 9, and 8, we upgrade it already, you see also the increase of repetition, 6, 5, S5, and 4, your triceps should already burn, Three, only two more, one more, and finish, rest, great job. Next exercise is so called book. So this is a great exercise for activating our abdominal muscles, our front abdominal muscles, right to abdominal. So, how to do a book with our knees bent. So, lay on the mat and your back should be uh, touching the, the mat also push your belly button already now to the floor. From this position you extend your both legs and arms back and from this position you flex your knees, you do the curl up to so basically activate your abdominal muscles and return to the starting position. So push the belly button down. We're gonna do 15 repetitions. Are you ready? So starting position, let's go. And curl up and down. Up. Two, three, four, five, six. Pull the belly button down. Seven, let's go. Eight, nine, and ten. Five more. And four. Go, go, go. Three. Let's do. And one. Great job. 
Next exercise are push-ups on your knees with 120 degrees angle in combination with a mountain climber. So this is a great exercise for activating our shoulders, our chest and also our abs and glutes basically for the whole body. So for the push-up, put your hands much wider than your shoulders and bring your whole body in front. So your weight is on your hands and you see your knees are on 120 degrees angle. From this position, you go down by flexing your elbows to the side into 90 degrees angle and you push and activate your shoulders and your chest. You do four repetitions like this and from this point you go putting your hands in the middle, extend the whole body and bring your knees and do eight mountain climbers. So we have four push-ups, four mountain climbers and four series. So let's go. Put your hands and go down. Four push-ups, down and push. Your spine is in neutral position, your neck is in angle spine. Put your hands in the middle, activate and squeeze those abs, bring your knees to the chest. Eight repetitions. And from the beginning, push-ups. And push. Down, activate those shoulders, those chests. One more. Bring the hands in the middle, the weight is in front, and knees to the chest. Let's go. Third round, and down, and push up, down. See where the knees are, they are way, way back. One more, knees, okay, bring the back to the middle. Last round, and wide, and Let's go. Fight to the end. Two more. And one. Bring your hands in the middle and bring those knees to the chest, to the finish. Great job. Hi ladies and we are at the end of our strength training session with the well-deserved stretching. So we're gonna stretch our whole body and bring our temperature of the body down and, and do a core balance. So, step to the side and we're gonna stretch first our quads. So, bring one foot to your glute and also your knees together and stretch those quads. So, stretch for 10 seconds and change. Step to the side, bring the other leg up, bring the knees together stretch the quads, yes, let's go, step to the side, bring one leg back by flexing the knee, the, the, the knee that is uh, behind you is flexed and also the, the leg that is in front of you is a little bit flexed, the knee not, not completely extended, not locked, but a little bit flexed, bring your glutes back, sit back into the chair and you should feel those hamstrings and the glutes stretching and they should hurt a little bit. So this is the point of the stretching. You feel the muscles working, stretching and going into the relaxed state to bring them in our starting position, preparing them for all the strength training sessions that are coming in the following weeks. Change and stretch glutes and the hamstrings. Good job down and bring the knee is in basically flex and the other leg extend back and put the, foot, the uh, heel down so you push the heel down and uh, extend and stretch the cuff so your spine is in neutral position and also your neck is in under spine and go down your weight is in the middle you push the heel in the floor Change and push the heel down. So the front knee is flexed. The last, last leg, the, the one in the back, is extend and the heel push down. Great job. In this position, bring one arm in front of you, cross the chest, and uh, with your arm, push your uh, upper arm down and Stretch the shoulder. Great job. Hold. And let's 
go the other one hold and stretch the shoulder doing a great job from this position you flex the elbow bringing it up and pushing your forearm down your, your back so basically you want to stretch those tri triceps tricep, so Thank you. 